Hey y'all, this is Archangel M here with Maneater. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. Nature continues its work of creating balanced ecosystems here and throughout the wild world. The shark should really get some water in her gill. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Health and Human Services advises against eating barracuda, so it's good that this shark knows its source.
As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding.
Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Founder of America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybelle Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. Necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well balanced diet.
From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. In the 70s, abandoned bales of marijuana frequently appeared along Port Clovis's shoreline. These were colorfully referred to by locals as square grouper. With an angry bull shark loose, local hunters are forced to post bail and shrug off last night's hangover so they can take to the water. The corn-fed Colossus, Butcher Boy Brady.
Despite Port Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. that he was afraid of that ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark
got me. A recent study estimated that one out of every five fish purchased by Americans was, just like this one, caught illegally. By identifying key disaster-related issues, commercial developers can be more informed as they continue recklessly building along the coast. During the 1920s, Sapphire Bay's pier was host to a collection of merry-go-rounds, wooden roller coasters, and fun houses, all of which would be destroyed in a succession of tragic fires. Hey, this has been Archangel M. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Till next time.